Hello there and welcome to the new exercise and in this exercise I want you to create a dashboard like this which is about where does each generation spend their money. So we have generations like uh, baby boomers, generation X, millennials and traditionalists and then we have their spending categories like uh, hobbies, clothing, ELEC, I don't know what ELEC is. But then you have furniture building, you have gasoline, you have general miscellaneous, groceries, pharmacies, restaurant, all of these different categories, right? And they are ranking, right? Where does each generation uh, rank basically spend more? For example, if you see in this hobbies or clothing, you have this uh, first as millennials, right? Where they are spending more on this category as well as on gasoline and restaurant. These are the three categories in which they spend a lot. So again, a very high level and interesting information. Similarly, if you see, you have traditionalists who are spending on general miscellaneous, groceries and pharmacies, right? Whereas you have the baby boomers who are spending more on, let's say, furniture and buildings. Okay. So that's something, you know, uh, an interesting chart, uh, which I want you to create. And it's all based on uh, some of the previous exercises that I have already covered it for you. So if you have not been following or if you have landed very first time on my channel, let me go here. So what do I have is basically these various exercises and feature explainer. So in feature explainer, I have close to 200 videos where using this link, which is present in the in the description, you can come over here, search any of the video and uh, utilizing the link present in the column B, jump to that. Uh, to jump to that video in YouTube. So this is just to make your searching easy in terms of you're looking for a certain function, dashboard, tutorial and whatnot. And feel free to explore like these two people are exploring right now. And then I have uh, I have been picking up the exercises that is from the Workout Wednesday, um, Workout Wednesday website. And this is where the link is. WOW is nothing but Workout Wednesday. And this is the exercise link. So, so far, 13 weeks is something what I have picked up and the uh, spending habits by generation is basically the coming next, which I have created based on one of the previous dashboards I created in Tableau. Um, that's something I found it interesting. I think one of the users created it and I recreated it uh, that looks similar to this. So this is the uh, information which is present and here I will just give you a reference as to how you can create this dashboard by utilizing the references from the previous exercises. So first thing first is um, we need to create a selection banner like this one, right? Where uh, you have, but before that, where is the data, right? So data is present in the data sets folder. Even for link is this is given in the description and you have this data set consumer spending by generation dot xlsx file this is the file that i am using okay so if i go here and show you in the fields this is the sheet one in the excel workbook and these are the fields that you will find so this is nothing but your category field right so you have this these categories that will basically uh, come as a slicer or as a filter you need to configure your filter like it will come like button like this and you should always have one value selected, right? So if let's say nothing is selected or if I just click it on it again, even in that case, there will always be one selection. So you need to make sure that you know the settings and this is something similar to this what I explained it here in the switching measures, similar to this is what you will find it over here using this YouTube video, which I have already published. So you will find that exercise as well as this configuration, what I'm talking about it, converting the filters into the, into the buttons and having always one value selected. The second one is creating a rank chart or a bump chart. So bump chart is something I recently explained it here. Where, 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 where do you go? Yeah, here in this week 11 exercises so you have the you have to create a bump chart utilizing the reference over there and this is nothing but the spending rank so spending is where you have the spending rank which is a measure that i created 
something I explained it over there, how you will create it. So you have the spending rank by category and generation. So this is the rank, this is the generation and you have it over a category. So for example, this category is grocery. So if I hover over, you will see the grocery and that basically you can see this uh, as a visual interaction is this one is your clothing. This one is your furniture building. This is your gasoline category. This is your miscellaneous category. So just to give a consistent or a clear look and feel to the user that we do, we are not showing the categories information here, but over here, right? Like if I click on pharmacies, I will know that this is a pharmacy category. And if I click here, I know that this is a restaurant category. So this is a consistent look and feel with the help of the slicer and we are not showing the information. So we are show, we need, you need to create this chart which is showing the spending by uh, spending rank by category and generation generation is here now another interesting thing will be that a small configuration what i did is you will see that this rank is going up and you are not seeing these these basically circle so circle is also you need to display and you need to display the rank it's as well okay so make sure you do that but interesting thing is the first and last rank will be something like uh, it's being cursed because the space is not present. So what configuration you will do to make sure that your ranking is coming properly. Otherwise, if you don't do that configuration, your first and last rank will cut because it the chart does not have a proper space. So it's about creating a more space in the chart with little bit of configuration. So think about this what what you can do this is something new which i am giving it to you as an as an exercise i have not covered it over there but let me know if you found any issue i will be able to answer it but i want you to play around with it your axes a uh, hint is that you have to deal your y axis a very specific hint i am giving you now i want you to figure it out what you need to do and finally down there it's a very simple chart which is uh, percentage and before I come over here, right? Uh, if you see, we have this groceries, miscellaneous, gasoline, only this chart is updating, not this chart is updating. So how would you do the interaction setting between here, here and here so that this chart does not, you know, change. However, whenever you select any category, your value should change. And this basically shows in grocery, you have number one rank for the traditionalist and down there you have 30.40% value. So this is basically the value that you have for this categories, right? Because we are not showing the category over here or value over here, but just the rank. So this is the four values that you have that is in line with how this color is, right? But the whole thing is whenever you select here, this is not changing. This is the interaction setting you need to do. However, this is changing. So no, no setting is required here. It will take the default uh, settings. So this is percentage spending by generation. So this is generation. This is percentage of spending. Very straightforwardly, I have utilized it. However, I have used the color based on what color you have it on the legend over here. So that's something you need to figure it out how you will do the settings to make sure that this is the color that you are going to use. And finally, you know, this, this uh, text. So whole idea is that uh, you are able to view this exercise and this exercise if you have not done uh, just to create another chart because you will see that you will find uh, similar type of problems or similar type of requirements in one or the different settings of the dashboard. And the more practice you will do, the more uh, you will going to get. And that is why I want you to uh, repeat in switching measure to see how we have done this setting in the bump chart over here. Even I did this practice. I remember that this is a data set where I created it. And down there, this is what the value is and the interaction settings and all, as I mentioned. So that's something as an exercise, I want you to take uh, data set information I have already given. This is consumer spending data set. I've showed you the location at the start because I know many people ask me the question like, where is the data set? How can I find it? There are a lot of data sets. You just want to do, just wanted to give this idea that data set is present here, consumer spending by generation, right? So you should not have any issue in picking up the data set. 
So, that is about it a quick exercise to give you create this dashboard let me know if you find any issue and I will be helping you in creating it. Thank you so much I will meet in the next uh, video with the new challenge.